when it comes to organic farming, uh, there is a large mis misconception in a farmer's mind that it doesn't um, give good yield. The performance of the plants is not really high. But this is not the case. This is a misconception. And let's talk about scientifically how uh, plants um, get their best yield. Okay? So when you look at scientifically what plants need, this is what it is. So 95% of their nutrients or uh, what their the requirements comes in the form of sunlight, carbon dioxide and water and also oxygen which is present in the atmosphere. So sunlight there is plenty, carbon dioxide of course there is plenty of carbon dioxide and if you do a good water management we have enough water as well. Only 5% of its requirements comes in the form of nutrients from the soil. They are macronutrients, micronutrients and secondary nutrients and not just the presence of these nutrients in the soil but also how the plants can take it up. So let's look, look into it. Now these nutrients are nitrogen, phosphorus and potash, they are the primary nutrients and then you have the calcium, magnesium, um, sulfate, secondary nutrients and um, all these different micronutrients. Now they are already present in the soil but that doesn't mean that it goes into the, the root system. So it needs some assistance um, for the uptake of the, these nutrients. So this uptake is assisted by macro and microorganisms. So there are earthworms, there are millipedes, there are the centipedes which degrades the organic matter into finer bioavailable uh, molecules of nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium and other uh, micronutrients. And then there are these microorganisms which um, has this symbiosis going on with the plant roots and there are these nitrogen fixers, there are potash mobilizers, phosphorus solubilizers, all these degraders help the plant's uh, roots take up the nutrition from the soil through water into their system and then with the sunlight, carbon dioxide and um, oxygen the reactions take place in the plants, the photosynthesis is the magical um, chemical reaction that happens in the plants and then we have high performance. So in order to give this high performance to your plantation through organic farming, we need to do three layer interaction with them. First of all, we need to increase the macro organisms in the soil. Which we um, they assist in uh, level one of your um, nutrient uptake. The second level is your um, organic manures that we can provide. Now, we, the plants can take only up to 1.5% of nitrogen or maybe 2% at max but not more than that. Nitrogen, phosphorus, potash as well. So when we use manures we need to make sure that that comes from organic source which means natural source. It, is, it doesn't come from mining or, um, uh, or synthetic uh, materials from factories. So make sure it comes from organic source so we need to have the organic manures which um, has the macro and micronutrients and then we have the microbial, um, the cultures which has the consortium of different bacteria, funguses, uh, these microorganisms which assist or symbiotes with the plants and help them take up these nutrients into them. Okay, so they could be nitrogen fixers, potash mobilizers, phosphorus solubilizers, biodegraders, biocontrol agents, all these microorganisms together form the, the, the third layer of interaction. So you have the macroorganisms, you have the or organic manures, second layer, and then the third uh, interaction is through uh, this consortium of beneficial microorganisms. So this is a really scientific way of um, interacting with your plantation through organic methods and also this delivers high performance. When you have these um, all three levels going on scientifically, your farm organically will perform way better than a chemical farm.